Cole Komet is no longer an experiment. That guy is a top 10, arguably top five tight end. Like the offensive line is not minus the center position, really. Not a bunch center of scrubs and guard. anymore. Center and guard sometimes when they're yeah, hurt. But, but three this, out of five. But this isn't good. a completely talentless team. The argument I understand is if you barely just missed the playoffs or you got bounced in the first round and it was clearly a lack of talent issue. You were yes. nowhere near the level that you need to be. And part of that just has to lie in your quarterback, doesn't it? The fact that he can't make the other players around him look demonstrably better. I don't think there would be a lot of shock if you just came back with a better quarterback on this team and all of a sudden everyone looked a little bit better. It is what it is. And again, when you watch it, it, it kind of gets to fool you because you watch Justin Fields thing do things that you've never, ever seen done before, I think. Right? There's a lot of sacks that I can't name a single quarterback. You could argue it's Michael Vick, Cam Newton. I've seen Justin Fields like break out of actual full-on tackles and run a 4-3-40 and like go pick up 15, 18 yards. But it looks impressive, so it kind of fools the brain into thinking that's sustainable. I can't listen to you while you blindly support and don't acknowledge negatives because I'll have a conversation with you about it, but I can't just be like, he's the best. You're an idiot to move on. What are you doing? That's fine. And the argument to be made for more draft capital, I love that. I started with that argument, but the more I, you know, really, you work on draft capital so that you can get a quarterback eventually. More we draft did it so last can... year so we could be in the spot we're at today. <laughs> exactly. It's gambling with house money, right? The athleticism is so cool and it's so fun to watch, but it's not what's going to get you over the hump at this point. People really don't like Caleb Williams being drafted because it's almost like an unknown commodity, right? And as if it's, oh, well, this guy could bust. Well, they keep acting as if Justin Fields is the known commodity. If this is the known commodity, and even if he gets 10% better, you're still dealing with a bottom, maybe 20th best quarterback in the league. So you're, you're hoping for a now year four leap with a brand new coordinator with hopefully brand new pieces, brand new receivers. And then where do the excuses end? Well, now he needs to gel with those pieces. Well, now he needs another year with this coordinator. People acting like Justin Fields is the known commodity is to me the, the kind of delusional part. Even if you like Justin Fields' talent, has I don't think he's ever demonstrated four consistent games in a row, right? I don't think I've ever seen Justin Fields play four really good games of football in a row. And you can blame whatever you want for that, but that's why that Green Bay game did matter so much. Because if you yeah. would have been able to get a third win in a row, it would have it, it would have said something. It would the fact and, that he came out and just shh, nine points. And people keep talking about how this, you know, like he can take you there. He needs more talent and more support and this and that. Objectively speaking, ignoring all of his side notes and coordinators and all that, I've never seen the guy put together four consistent games in a row in the regular season, and I've watched every single game he's ever played. And now all of a sudden, just because he got some new players and some backup and a better coordinator – I don't see that now he's going to put together four consistent games in a row. Oh, and it's against all the best teams left. And it's in the most high leverage, high pressure situations left. And all of a sudden, it's just those two things don't compute to me. And people are just like, well, get him a new receiver and a new O-line and a new coordinator and give him some more stuff. And then another thing and another thing. And the guy hasn't even like Listen, sniffed the playoffs yet. It could happen, but people don't understand that. They're hoping for a miracle. Caleb Williams would have gone first overall in 15 drafts probably before this, before Andrew Luck, basically. And people acting like, like that's something that you, you should just go, eh, we don't need it. That's wild. They're using the same line against Justin Field at this point that they did against Mitch Trubisky. Make him play quarterback. You can't keep get, hoping for this ideal situation and act like it's realistic but it's less realistic for Caleb Williams to just get drafted and be better than Justin Fields. It's less realistic for that to happen than to put together a super team in the next two to three years because you traded back a few picks. With Grant, That's more realistic. I don't think – like you can point to a few of the NFL players who say like, yes, build around Justin Fields. Analysts say this, say that, say this, say that. 
go be a fan of another team. I don't think anyone's banging down the door and saying like, take our first and second for Justin Fields. I'm like, man, you guys are sure. That's why you're getting a second. Maybe Schefter said you might get a first if there's a bidding war or something like that. I still have. I heard, highly, I heard highly second doubted. and a fourth. Second and a fourth. Yeah, is and so that's why you're getting a second. Even the most diehard fan bases who need a quarterback. Do you think they would actually take Justin Fields over Caleb Williams if the price was the same? And in this situation, the price is the same. You have that pick. Not only is the it price the same, into our you get laps. to take it and still get draft compensation for Justin Fields. We haven't even talked about the money part, which Justin Fields starts at Daniel Jones. Financially, just so everyone knows, like maybe we can get him for a hometown discount. No, you're not. First of all, you don't even know how Justin Fields feels. Maybe he feels slighted at this point just by the slander in the media. And the conversation begins at Daniel Jones, which I believe is $40 million a year. One thing's for sure. I will not sit here and pretend that the quarterback position does not have a lot of room for improvement right now. Because it does. 